Right, Wayne. Right. Well, Mel, it's obvious that your reputation hasn't travelled this far north. Of course, if, <laughs> if Ronnie the, 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 the Grover of Nose Trevally had known who you were, I'm sure, I'm sure they'd have tried for a hooker. Chris, aren't they beautiful? Yes, you see that big magnet. fella? How, do you reckon, no? how big do you reckon he is? About 200, I would think. About 200 pounds. Which would make him, what, about 100 odd years old? Oh, gosh, yes, I think so. Yes. Because it's. This is the Hook Hardy Reef Complex, and, and Hamilton Island has that facility there which enables people to come out and really experience the reef. And you don't just look at it, you become a part of it. Oh, sure, you? yes, yes. Some of those caves over there in the reef, you actually swim in 15, 20 feet in under the reef, then pop out on top of the reef itself. That's and amazing. The fish that's in them is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well, I've seen, the reef be, I've seen the reef before, but I must admit, during the helicopter flight out, when we were, were flying over that magnificent seascape there, you, it's not just an objective thing, you, mean, you, you can't help be becoming emotionally involved. I mean, there's a feeling of awe at the, at the huge oh, yes, size yes, of it, yes. knowing that it was made the way it, it was, that's an objective thing, but, but when you, you really look at it and are impressed by it in the way it does, it, it's an emotional experience. Chris, it's, it's not only looking at the huge whole area, but it's looking at those little things right in front of your eyes. And remember that uh, this whole reef was built by a microscopic polyp. Uh, polyp yeah, yeah, by the coral polyp. Unbelievable. What about the fish? They become so tiny oh, yes, so yes, quickly. Yes, well, look at that fish there. Small. <laughs> Just come straight up. He could have taken an arm or a leg, whichever he preferred. Or all of it. Or all of it. Or yeah. all of it. No yeah. trouble. No trouble. He just come up right in front of you. So gentle. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And of course, all the other little fish that's around him too. I think if I was there, I'd be getting a bit excited. Yeah. They don't seem to mind at all. No, they don't seem to worry. Those little yellow ones yeah. around the bread. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, a, it's amazing. But, I mean, they're fish that we know as being difficult to catch, being, being cunning and wily. Uh, and, and, I mean, you've told us over the last 10 years how difficult it is to catch a whole range of species yeah. of fish and some of them were there, particularly the Trevally. Yes. And yet because of the environment, because of the way in which the people who visit the reef treat them, they become so tame, oh, yes, they become yes, as, yes. as tame as a cat. Yep, yep. They, they, they just don't seem to have any worry about you at all. They just come straight up to you. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems to me that if there is an impact on the reef, and, and I must, I get back to the conservation aspect of it again, because what the conservations are concerned about concerns me. Sure. As a but, concern everybody. Yeah. But what is done about it concerns me more because I think there's an overkill. Yes. I think the conservationists feel that everything should be shut down yes. in order to, to preserve it. Yeah. And I really believe, and this is a, a perfect graphic example of it, that there is a way of compromising oh, so of that course. we can enjoy places such as this. We can integrate with the with the wildlife here. And, and everybody can enjoy it. The fish enjoy it, and so do we. Yeah. Well, you, you know, my, you know the way I look at it. The good Lord made all that for us all to see. Yeah. And uh, why should just one or two see it? The likes of I that can go down underwater. Yeah. You should be able to have these places right along the reef where everybody can come and view that beautiful yeah. uh, inner space. Inner space. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, That's the new word, apparently. And of course, the thing is, <laughs> it's been demonstrated over the many years that this has been happening that there is not a, a, a measurable impact on the reef. Oh no! But there's no, a huge impact on the people who visit the reef. Yes, yeah, sure. See you next sure. week.